Hey guys, Eric here outside at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we're gonna talk about syncing up the arms with the body in the golf swing. Now, I did a lesson uh, earlier this week with someone who came in, and it's another common thing that I hear all the time, which is, hey, my swing feels sort of discombobulated. It feels goofy. I'm not sure what's going on. Where do I start? And in today's video, I wanna show you what's the really one drill we come back to that you can recalibrate your swing and really simplify things. I wanna to talk to you today about live view golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live view is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. You know, it's interesting as I uh, teach and go on and every year that goes by, I realize that a lot of times we are trying to fix a problem by searching for uh, typically a complicated solution, right? If our swing feels off and it feels goofy, a lot of times we assume there's something big that needs to change or something complicated, when oftentimes it's simple. One thing that's simple is getting your arms and body synced up. What does it mean? What does it mean to sync your arms and body? Uh, in the simplest terms, I would say when I make a swing, my arms and body are synced up when my arms stay in front of my body. So at front of my body, it's set up, in front of my body during the backswing, in front of my body during the downswing, in front of my body during the follow through. Now, of course, that's overly simplistic, but that's what you want a recalibration to be, overly simplistic. What I see when things go off or feel discombobulated is my arms get behind my body, right? My arms get too far out in front of my body. My arms and body get disconnected and they get out of sync on both sides. And so that's what happened to the gentleman we had with the lesson. In short, during the backswing, he had a lot of arm motion and not a lot of body motion. And that's what we started with is, hey, how do we get things moving back and through together? And how can we fix four, five, six, seven uh, issues with one thing? And the answer to that, and something we've been using for a long time that hopefully a lot of you have, is a simple range bucket. Here's how it works. It's one of my favorite go-to things. And I want you to use this and test yourself so you can see if you have things synced uh, up or not. Here's a simple test. Take the range bucket and put it right in the middle of your chest. So I've got the top of the bucket is just above my sort of sternum or for shirt button and then down towards the middle part of my stomach. Now I'm gonna squeeze the bucket together with my biceps. So now when I make a swing, I'm gonna take a little golf club in here. I'm squeezing the bucket with my biceps. The bucket's in the middle of my sternum. When I make a backswing during the takeaway and through about the first half of the backswing, if I keep the bucket squeezed between my arms and keep the bucket here on my body, I have things synced up. I've got things synced back up here, synced back up here, synced back up here. If you can take a bucket and hit little half shots with it, things are synced up pretty good. Guess what? When I put the bucket in for the gentleman, not so easy, right? Felt very difficult. How come? Because he wasn't used to turning his body during the backswing and follow through. So you try this too. I'm gonna do one here to just demonstrate. I've got the bucket in. I'm gonna squeeze it together with my biceps and I'm only going about halfway back, halfway through. Now, as I hit balls with this, what I'm feeling is happening, especially if you're not used to it, is it feels like I'm using a lot of body motion and very little arms and hands. And so if you're someone who feels like you're too armsy and you wanna use your body more, well, here you go. Put the bucket between your chest, go about halfway back, halfway through and you're gonna feel some parts of your body working that you're probably not used to. Same little half one. And that's all I'm trying to do are these little 100 yard shots. I got the nine iron, I'm going 100 yards. Now, what happens is 
that feels like I'm using the same amount of body as I would in a full swing, but my arms are only feeling like they're going halfway. So what does that tell Eric? It tells Eric, usually my arms get disconnected too much, right? Arms in front of body, bucket drill. When we put it in, what the gentleman said was, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm using way more body to get the club back. I can feel my lats engaged. My arms are in front of my body. It'll likely feel like your arms and hands are wider. I don't want a ton of wrist hinge. Uh, we ended up getting to the point where he felt like the arms were wider and the butt of the club hinged down towards his right foot. That's what he told me he felt. Butt of the club hinged down, arms wide, lots of body motion here, turn through. So whether you want to use this as a test or put it in as part of your regular practice, squeeze it together with your biceps, halfway back, halfway through, and you're just hitting these little half shots, get accustomed to your body working. Are you going to go on the golf course after this and magically go, uh, you know, shoot 65 and fix all your swing flaws? No. Okay, but it's something you can do in your practice to gain feels, to start to use your body and big muscles, sync up your arms and body. You don't need other drills. You need that one drill. That's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. All right, guys, I got too excited there. One little piece I want to add on, which is when you take the bucket out after you've done the reps, hit some balls, but still feel and imagine like you're squeezing the bucket together with your biceps. And you should be able to hit these little half swing shots. Now they're gonna start going farther. You should still feel the same sensations of your arms being very wide on both sides, the club being very wide, using a lot more body and a lot less arms and hands. Like you still got that bucket in and you should start to get a sense of that feeling really solid, syncing things up and being a lot more consistent day to day. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below. Really helps us get our videos out to more people so we can keep making videos for you guys here for free. Click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do like these YouTube style videos and this in particular, we're gonna put a recommended video on the screen here for another YouTube style video. If you would like more coaching, we'll put a, a card on the screen for cogornogolf.com. We'd love to see you there.